What's up, y'all? Um, so this is going to be a completely different video explaining the different side of me in my life. Because I'm used to uploading Dance Dance Revolution videos and car videos on two separate channels. If you didn't know, my two channels are Frumpy Tuin and GM Maniac for those who are new to me. So, yeah, so I'm going to start off by telling a little story. So, see this golfing hat that I have on? Um, so, I have been golfing for, since I was 9 or 10 years old, that's when I got started. And uh, I was quite a little bit of an enthusiast back then compared to what, where I am now, because I've been so busy with school and everything. But anyway, back to the story. So, 9 or 10, I, there was a PGA Tour golfing tournament going on. Um, and watching specifically Tiger Woods that was back when he was quite the legend because I didn't think I hit started hitting the the golf ball until like a lot in 2003 that's when I started so it was way back in the day and um it was it wasn't just Tiger it was other mother my <laughs> many other professional golfers out there too Jim Furyk Stuart Appleby you name it so yeah so I just it just sort of amazed me and intrigued me to the point where I thought, hey, I want to do this. I want to be on TV. Well, that didn't end. I didn't end on television, but it's actually um, gotten me very interested in the game of golf. And I was very interested to learn much more about the sport. So I went and asked either my mom or my dad. I don't remember who I asked, but I did remember asking what they used. And we, we have a golf club and a ball in the house. So, turns out we had a golf ball and a very rusty golf club, but I didn't care because I only got started. So, thankfully, our yard was actually big enough inside the big city of almost 400,000 people to be actually starting off at uh, over on that big yard. Our front yard's actually pretty huge. It, it's the, um, our house lied on the, the corner of the street, so our, our yard would pretty much go our around well we have a bigger yard because it, our house was located on the corner of the street so yeah so that's where I got started um, topping the golf balls all the time and just try to even attempt to hit the golf ball you know when you're beginning a beginner golfer and you're having trouble hitting the golf ball that's how it works that's how you get started you're just trying to figure out your way to hit the golf ball and once you kind of start hitting a golf ball and after topping it many times you'll eventually figure out how to actually hit it so yeah so then afterward I've gotten much more interested my parents ended up buying me a full set of kids golf clubs which isn't really a full set because they only contain a driver th a three um, three irons and a putter so yeah, that's, that, was, that was a time where I was beginning to actually get good at the game. And I would just, <laughs> all, that's a, I, I was just keeping my, I was a child. So I, all the time, every single day, like even after school, I would go outside in the backyard or slash front yard, and I would use and hit the foam golf balls, which are way, well, needless to say, way more softer and safer to use. So. Yeah, that's what I did. Every single day, I would whack those golf balls and just run all over the place. <laughs> you know, those were the days. And and now it's just like you have to either go to the range or just actually play the game or the golf course. You can't really hit in the backyard anymore unless you're in the middle of nowhere. But what are you going to do? So, yeah. Uh, so that was my story. And um, if you are interested to learn more about it, let me know in the comments. Um, it depends on how many of those comments I get. Um, because I feel that I should show the side of me that not many people see on YouTube specifically besides Dance Dance Revolution, my car videos that I upload my two separate channels. So, but I figured I'd upload something new. So in this video, I'm actually going to show you my full set of golf clubs, which are right here. Um, I'm going to open the shade part of it here so you can see my golf clubs better hence better lighting so here is my full set of golf clubs I probably I'm just gonna go briefly exp um, tell you what club I have here so I'm gonna start with the putter and work it all the way 
through everything until it reached to the driver, if that makes any sense. So I'm gonna start with the putter here. This is a Nike Method Core. I'm gonna take off this cover, just so you can have a better look at the club. Okay, so this was bought in uh, September of, not September 2012, it was somewhere in 2012 when I was um, selling my Cameron for this. I Call me crazy, but the Cameron I had was completely misaligned and it, it was not for me at all. So, but eventually I did sell it for a good amount of money and then um, I ended up buying this one. And uh, I was really interested to see how this was, um, how it feels in the putting green, how it feels to strike the golf ball to the golfing hole with this club. And I have to say, I love this putter for um, a lot of reasons. Um, you know, first off, it's such a, the feel I feel, I think it's incredible. It's a nice solid feel that gives you an idea of not only how well you putt, but how um, confident you, you are with it. And I feel that this putter is giving me all that. And I have a good different grip on it too. Um, the ping grip. Um, it's not a ping brand putter, but I have this grip for a reason. It's the best feeling putter grip in the world, in my honest opinion. Now, of course, not everyone's going to agree, but that's what I. That's how I think about this putter grip. It is that soft and that tacky and that fantastic. So, yeah. So I'm going to... Leave it at that. And then um, for my wedges, I use Nike Engage. These are brand new. These are custom fitted at a facility up in Twin Cities area of Minnesota. I live in Missouri now in the St. Louis area. Um, but these are absolutely fantastic feeling wedges. Previously, I had Nike Victory Reds and those were pretty good. But these ones are just, um, these are just phenomenal clubs. I couldn't find any other way to describe how good they are. So I have 60, 52, and a 56. So then just to prove it to you, 52 and then a 56. I'm, I'm just going to go briefly explain because I don't want to um, leave you guys hanging with this extremely long video. So if you want to learn a lot more about these clubs, leave it in the comments and I'll make another video. So then I have Pitching Wedge through 5 iron, yeah, Pitching Wedge through 4 iron, of Mizuno's MP64 irons. They are custom fitted, but um, they didn't do much to it. They only added half an inch longer of the shaft length to the rest of my irons. Um, to That was back when they fit me three years ago almost. Two and a half years ago, I should say. And uh, these are, these are really good buttery feel irons, if that makes any sense. They are just so soft and just, they're, even when you miss hit them, it just does not feel very awkward. It still has the good old butter soft feel, but of course it's not going to be as much as you it um, feels on when you hit the sweet spot. It gives you the best feel. Well, and these are um, they're little cavity bags. It depends on the the club. Um, I don't. I forgot what the um, the purpose of these, uh, what these clubs were made for, the Mbizuno MP64. So if you can, um, leave it in the comments. But if not, then I'll be able to research more of these online to give you a better explanations of how these are designed. So then my Razor, Callaway Razor X 3 Hybrid. This has been bought since brand new in 2011. And uh, it, it, um, this had a, this used to have a, you know, it, you know, of course they come with the stock shafts, but it was back when I was a shaft junkie. Like I did not trust factory shafts at all because they did not fit to my swing very well. So I did um, reshaft it to a, um, a UST Pro Force V2, and that was pretty good for a while. But then my swing speed got actually a little bit faster and uh, a little bit more quicker tempo, and. It, it was also feeling really, really soft to that soft feel of the golf um, shaft. So I thought I'd upgrade even further to a UST Pro Force VTS. Let me turn it up here. UST Pro Force VTS. I should not have gotten the extra stiff, to be honest, because even um, 
Even when you have a good and fast swing speed, it doesn't always necessarily mean that you need an extra stiff automatically. You're sometimes you're just better off using a stiff for better consistency. So this is the, the black version. The torque is 2.5 degrees, so the feel is actually pretty firm. And uh, well, the lower the shaft torque, the more resistance that you'll feel off in the golf shaft, if that makes any sense. So um, if I mix explain it, I apologize. It's been a while since I've actually been researching like golf shafts in general because I've just been so busy with other things. So yeah, that's my 21 degree Razor 3 Hybrid. And this is my tailor-made 2008 burner five wood. I'm probably not gonna be able to take this off anytime soon. Here, hold on a second. Okay, I just took it off. <laughs> um, but yeah, so tailor-made burner from 2008 burner, 18 degrees, five wood. And this is an absolute fantastic shape. I, I try to take very good care of my clubs and wash it very frequently, like at least once a week, depending on how much is used. If I'm not out there as much, then I won't wash my golf clubs as much because I don't feel it's too necessary. But although I do need to wash my golf clubs again, it's been a long while since I last used them and uh, golf season is coming up pretty fairly soon. So, and since I'm down here in uh, the St. Louis area in Missouri, the winters are a lot warmer and um, golf season are, seasons are a lot longer than golf seasons in Minnesota. So golf courses are going to pretty much be open pretty soon. I can't really say yet, but hopefully in three weeks hopefully in three weeks they'll be able to open up and I'll be able to use the range again well I'm sure the range is open on some days but me and being on the golf course I won't be completely ready until like three weeks later to work on my game now last but not least my Nike Victory Red 2.0 driver VRS Covert and uh, this is one of my all-time favorite drivers. I mean, at first, when I looked at it, I was just thinking, I really don't know about this design. The way the cavity is placed is, just seems very awkward. But once I tried it, um, I've once I've tried it out in the golf course, I've actually really liked what um, it it does <laughs> in terms of design and how I how well I hit the golf ball and everything. Let me take this out. So, yeah, this is the club. Take very, very good care of it. There are a few scratches on the crown, but that's easy to wash off. Or, well, not scratches, but I know it's just dirty. <laughs> um, but that's the good, good old driver that I have. And since it has the adapter in it, you can actually adjust the. Why isn't this zoom focusing? Oh well. So um, it has the adapter so you can focus um, um, to a specific degree that you would rather hit it at, whether it's eight and a half, nine and a half, or ten and a half, and whether you want to close or open the club base for, to your liking. For me, I just like it neutral because it gives me a, a better picture of how I well I actually hit the golf ball. And so instead of just trying to do all those adjusting to fix it the way I want it. Instead, I would just rather fix my swing and figure out what's wrong with it. So, yeah, so that's why I don't adjust it very much besides the degree. And here is the Odilla NVF 75 Stiff Flex. And I forgot to mention that that club head and shafts were actually bought separately on eBay. I actually originally bought the, the club head, which did not have the shaft with it, it only had the adapter and the, the tool to adjust it with. And uh, an Eldula NV green shaft, which is 75 stiff flex, and that's a good shaft too. But I feel that it's just not, the torque isn't high enough for my liking because it felt a little bit too firm in some swings. So, um, and the ball flight was pretty lower, lower than I wanted to. So with the Eldula NVX, not only the it feels not only the feel is a little bit softer and there's less resistance, but there's also um, a higher ball flight, a little bit, just a little bit higher. And that's what I like better. So yeah, I'm very happy with it. So yeah, so that's all of the golf clubs I'll show to you right now. 
And uh, now I just realized <laughs> I do have uh, another. Uh, this is a three wood by Nike, but um, I don't know why I have it over there. But it has uh, an extra stiff flex as well. What was I thinking? I should have just gone with the stiff in the first place. Although um, the shaft that you see right there, that's actually a stiff flex. The extra stiff is on the club. So I'm gonna have to take care of that and um, have one of the golf places do it for me, reshaft it. And so yeah, so that's all that I have. On this. That's all that I have on this video. And I, I hope you greatly enjoy it. Hope you um, are pleased to see the other side of me that you've never, that you don't often see on my channels, that is, besides posting my usual crap. <laughs> Um, but yeah, leave it in the comments. Um, let me know if you're greatly interested to see more in, um, of my golf content on my channel. And if I do get plenty of those comments and plenty of views, then I will greatly show you a lot more of my golfing side. So I'm going to end it right here. Have a great day. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, please. So let me know. So have a good day, everyone. God bless.